in this video I'm going to show you how to add text and or an offset to a JPEG image for a print plus cut project. I get asked this weekly and it's just as simple as adding the text and telling the software what you want it to do over in the style panel. So here I have a JPEG. If I come to my um, my print and my preview and show my cut lines and my print, I don't have a cut line. So I need to trace this guy and I'm going to go to my trace image window and I'm going to zoom in so I can check my cut lines to make sure they're nice and smooth. Um, the default usually does pretty good. I have blackout checked. I do not have add image layer, okay, just the blackout. And um, if you have this raised up too high and you trace it, you can see what happens, right? You, so you need to sometimes adjust your contrast. Um, you can also turn your source image down. And then once you know you think they're nice and smooth, go around and check them out and make sure that you know you don't have any you know crooked lines or whatever I don't know <laughs> these are crooked but you know what I mean alright so I'm gonna go ahead and choose OK for that that's gonna put a black blob right on top of my image if I turn that off my image is still there so I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn the image off because when I create the offset I don't want it going around that black or that white box of the image I want it to go around this here and I'm not even sure that it would but anyway I'm gonna add my text I'm not gonna worry about what font I have here um, I'll just type have a great summer and then um, you can see how it's spread apart so come over to your text panel here and uh, just use your leading to bring them closer together, however close you want them. Okay, and then my summer is too far apart. You know, I have more space here than I do here. I think I'm going to actually go about like that, I think. And then I'll select the word summer and come to my V offset and just bring that up and then that spacing looks much better. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than that, and I'm going to move it up here. Um, I'm going to select all of it, come to my position and size, and um, hit the horizontal alignment. Okay, and then what I can do is come to Effects, Shadow Layer, and let me actually zoom in here so you can kind of see. Um, okay, effects, shadow layer. I'm going to choose rounded. I'm going to choose blackout shadow and print plus cut outline. Okay, I'm not going to worry about what color it is because that's going to disappear in a minute anyway. So I'm going to increase it until I have this filled in here. And then I'm going to just choose OK. Now by choosing this print plus cut outline, this color is going to disappear and just leave me, um, oops, let me get my zoom tool here. It's going to just leave me the outline around there. And that's why I needed this trace. OK, so let me zoom out and then what I can do is come over to my layers panel. I can get rid of this black blob here. I can just delete it. Okay. And then I can turn my source image or my image back on and uh, go to my preview window. And here's my cut line. And here's what's going to print. Okay. So cut and print. And that's exactly what I want. So then I can select it all and group it. I suggest you group it so that way, it, you know, if you're moving it around on your page that you don't lose your trace line, okay? And then you can come over here to your um, position and size and size it to whatever size you want. I think I want two inches high. Um, 
and make your duplicates. And that's it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can find me in the Facebook groups. I have two of them linked in the description of this video.